All right, guys, we are here in the garage. I've got the uh, arm infraction here. And uh, we're going to do some tests on just heat overall for you guys. We're going to go ahead and take off the fan, turn it off. Now, again, this doesn't uh, have anything to do with the ESC and the thermal uh, shutdown that can take place. And uh, I guess I'm still not completely 100% sure that's what it is. I've been talking with some different people, and so I need to get some readings off of here. going to see if we can't make it shut down again and see what color we're flashing. Uh, I did not have the instructions, and I did not pay attention to what color we were flashing here. So I want to see if we're flashing red or green to know if it is LVC that's kicking in or actually a thermal shutdown. But we're going to also just do a uh, test on the heat of the motor for you guys without the fans on, and then we'll do it uh, a little bit later, and we'll turn the fans on, see if we get lower temps. Same type of run. Some burnouts. I put the front tires to the rear so you can see they've pretty much got full tread. These ones are going bald, but they still got quite a bit of meat to them. So I moved them up front where they're not going to uh, spin out as much during the burnouts. Uh, but they are directional, so they do want them rotating this way, which makes it a little bit more difficult for rotating. But we'll probably have to cheat it at some point just to get even wear and then uh, go back to the way that they're supposed to go on. But uh, I don't know that it matters once they burn down a whole lot. I don't know why they have directional uh on them except for maybe the way that these treads here on the side run anyway guys let's get this out and uh, do a little bit of testing see what kind of heats we can get get the temp gun out there and have some fun all right i got my uh, lipo checker and my temp gun got a 5000 milliamp hour 3s50 no 100c battery in here so we should have plenty of power for it and uh we'll run it how we've been doing it and we'll use the video as kind of our reference for how long we go uh yeah so, let's kind of run it how I've been running it and see if, how long it goes. Watch that curb, huh? Smoking them. All right, guys, and I don't want to give you the impression that I don't love this truck. I think it's absolutely amazing and a blast to run. And uh, I fault myself, if anything, for overheating it and not paying attention. All right, so in about two and a half minutes of just street bashing. Still going strong. Bring it back.
Oh, it drifts so nice. And we're done. Let's see what it is. So we're at about three and a half minutes. Gotta open this up real quick. Top speed of 46 is all we got back here. So it's 151, 184, 190. Got a 190 reading in there. Battery is 126. Connectors are in the hundreds. Motor, 183. 180s. Yeah, 181. And we are flashing green. So we are getting the thermal shutdown. So that is what we're running. Slow single beeps of green. So this is good news for me though, though it, it means that my batteries are doing what they're supposed to be doing. It means that we're really abusing the ESC. And what I really need to do if I wanna run like this is get a uh, smaller pinion to run in this kind of burst. So we're, uh, we're definitely taking advantage of it. That's nonstop running guys. Everything is really hot. Um, so power it down. Go ahead and plug the fans in just to get cooling that motor off anyway. There we go, get the fans on, bring a little relief. It's good to know what I'm dealing with. That's the main thing guys. Um, I don't think it's anything wrong with the car. I mean, that's a pretty abusive session. It's really humid and hot here in Virginia as well. All right, so our voltage, pretty much the same as the other times, 3.83, 3.7, but we did verify we had the blinking green light, so we are overpowering the ESC. Uh, so I guess just give it a little break, either that or we need to vent the hood a little bit. The body seals on there real tight, which is great. Looks amazing, but it does uh, not let airflow really get in there. So there's some, you know, up in the wheel wells because they're definitely getting the tire rubber in here. It could stand to be vented if I'm gonna keep bashing it like I am. A street bashing, of course, guys. Uh, which is what I really intend to do. You can see these were a little bit newer. I did burn down the tires a little bit. Still tread though, for all that burning out I was doing. Um, so the tires do hold up pretty good considering the abuse that we're given. If the tires are smoking, they're hot, guys. <laughs> but that's half the fun of it. If you want to bash it like this, just know that that's going to be uh, what you're dealing with. So uh, really, really, really fun truck. Even just going back and forth is fun, getting a little drift in the corner. Um, but I'll probably, if I'm wanting to go at those high speeds, uh, which again was only 46 is what I got as my max. All right, so we are outside again I'm with my son Anthony. He's got a GoPro and the ball and a little temp gun. And we've got the infraction. This time we're running the 3S 5000 milliamp hour 50C Venom Lipo Graphene battery. So uh, we're hoping to get some cooler temps with that. We also put the punch all the way up and the brake all the way up. Get a little bit more speed and be able to stop when we do. 46 is what we hit on the last one when we were trying to see temperature we'd get. We're hoping to get higher than that this time. It feels already a little bit punchier. You ready, bud? Filming. All right, we're gonna wrap around this corner to get a little start speed. And then we can hit full throttle when we uh, hit the straight here. That's full. Whoa. Oh, hit the curb. Whoa. Little bit. Let's see what damage we did. The air splitter is a little bit crooked. 
A little bit of damage there. We pulled out a screw, which we have extras. We're gonna go one more time. Let's see what speed we got though. Okay, 62 miles an hour. That's way better. Just by throwing the punch up. Probably get on the brake a little sooner this time, try and get under control. Go a little further to give us a little bit more time to get into the speed. There we go. Full. And brake. No? All right, get it going again. You can just leave it running. All right, 62 still. Zero it out. Man, that punch all the way up is crazy. So we got a little bit of a curve here. It's not bad because we're still building speed. Full. Oh, it's so fast. This is the fastest I've gone, I think. I think we actually had 65 or something with the uh, the JL speed. Let's see what we got. 62. It's pretty consistent coming in at 62 here. Might be all we got in us. We should be doing better on temps because we, uh, one, have the fan going. So that'll make the motor temp a little better. But we're also taking little breaks here between the runs and not full throttling all the time doing burnouts. All right. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, 63, we went up one mile an hour. But if we had a little bit more room, we might even get just a little bit more on that top end. I'm just not willing to keep it going too long. I don't want to slam into the curve. And I need room to kind of slowly brake. <laughs> That's insane, isn't it? What do you think, bud? Is that pretty cool? That's awesome. Awesome, huh? Especially the part where it, it starts kicking up. What big? 63. All right, let's check the temp on these uh, tires here. What does it say? Okay. Oh, we're in Celsius. 110 on the tire. Try this back one. Getting tight, 126. Cool. Oh, let's do one more. Car. Car coming. I was trying to get the motor temp up a little bit by running it, and then we'll uh, get a test on it here. And uh, we'll get the tires once more after burnouts. We'll get them smoking and then we're going to check it. Alright, ready? Here we go. Alright, come here. Let's check the temp. Oh, they're smoking so good. Getting tight. What do we got? 154. 154. Check these. Shouldn't be as hot. 150. All right, let's quickly get in here and check the motor. 149, 140s, 150, 130, 140 for the ESC. Nice. Cool, huh? 
Eh, don't want to run over you. Bands are doing what they need to do. They're spinning. Awesome. What a ripper. Let's show those tires smoking from the top here. Whoa. Man, we put that punch up. That really started taking the tires down faster, though. All right. That's to be noted as well. Did a lot more damage on the tires when we put the punch up. Cool, man. Ready to head back? Yep. All right, guys, so there it is. It was a thermal shutdown. What is this to prove? This isn't to prove anything. Uh, this is one of my favorite cars that I own, and it's my favorite on-road for sure. Uh, I've never had an on-road that I really wanted to get out and drive like I do with this one. Uh, the speed is great out of it. It's really quick. Uh, the burnouts are amazing, and it's just a street basher. You can put it on lots of different surfaces. Uh, they should be somewhat smooth, but it can be dirty, whatever. It just tears up, guys. Go straight as an arrow if you have that AVC on just the littlest bit, and uh, just handles beautifully. I mean, it's an awesome car. So what's the takeaway from this? The takeaway is if I want to beat it up like I'm doing right now, I need to gear down a little bit uh, from what comes stock. Uh, if you want to do speed runs anyway, uh, just disregard all this. You're going to be running it different than I am. Uh, I am just hard on, off, on, off, and uh, just really punching it. And so it's getting the temps up in there. There's not airflow. If I want to keep doing that as well, I might think about cutting out these scoops here to let some air in and then making sure it has a way to escape in the rear as well um, just to get a little bit of uh, airflow over that ESC and motor. I definitely recommend the uh, the motor fans at this point guys. Um, it's going to help keep it cooler. So that's kind of just to, to show you guys what I've been dealing with. I know a lot of you guys have been questioning me and saying that it's my batteries or something I'm doing or uh, all kinds of stuff. Nobody, <laughs> nobody believed that I thought I was having thermal shutdown and having issue or that I was only getting three minute runs. And so that's how I've been running it. I'm showing you straight up and it's done it. Uh, it's cut out like that on me four times. If I'm going slower, I'm not having issues. You know, the dirt track and all that, we weren't punching it like we were on the road there. So anyway, guys, this is a beautiful truck. I think we're gonna fly off the shelves. I don't count this as a negative in any way against this truck. Um, I just think that I'm taking it beyond what most or any car could put up with, especially given the humidity and the heat here. So anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. As always, if you have any questions about the setup or what I'm doing, uh, completely stock, didn't even change out the pinion. Um, but any other questions, leave them down below, guys. Thanks for tuning in. As always, if you like the video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. You'll be seeing a lot more of this thing as we'll be working on it and changing some stuff and just having fun. It's a hobby. And this is hobby grade, and what we do is we tinker and we try and make it do what we want it to do. That's what's awesome about this hobby, guys. They've given us an awesome platform with the arm and fraction. Uh, you know what? If you want to try on road, this is where to go, guys. This is awesome. For 600 bucks, tough to beat, man. So, anyway, thanks for tuning in. As always, have fun RCing, guys. Catch you next time.